All right, welcome to our next hardcore Nuzlocke we're doing on the channel. This is Pokemon Infinite Fusion. We are doing this with Hardcore Plus rules, which is going to be no setup moves. Other than that, standard Hardcore Nuzlocke shit. Um, you know, feigning is dead, usual Nuzlocke stuff. Hardcore Nuzlocke means no items in battle, etc. so on and so forth. You can Google these things if you need to know them. Um, other rules. We're doing a special little clause for this run, which is I get my favorite Pokemon if they show up <laughs> that's the clause that's the title that's what it's called i have a list of nine pokemon that we are allowing always to be captured regardless of whether or not they're our first encounter on route essentially these are nine bonus encounters they're my nine most favorite pokemon that are available in the infinite fusion pokedex they are totodile scyther nidoran male lilip yamask axu tyrant cubone and larvitar in no particular order you might notice some theming there and that is not a coincidence um we're doing modern mode I have never beaten this or played this beyond the first badge um, at all. I've done through Brock twice, once on a long time ago when I was prepping for a series I never actually did, and once to test the new update that came out today. Um, and that was a classic run in both cases, I think. We'll be doing modern mode here. Um, we will be old. Okay, uh, we'll just do the usual, I guess. We're not going to use nicknames for this run because we want to see the silly fused nicknames that come up because that's fun. Uh, we'll be doing hard, which is, well, let's look at the info here. So specifically, hard mode, NPC trainers are higher level and use better AI. Have access to healing items. Uh, switch mode thing doesn't matter because we're definitely playing on set mode. That's hardcore stuff as well. So hard, normal. Oh, I, I didn't know this was a thing. Um, we'll use the regular starters. Auto save, sure. Automatically download, sure. Skip the intro. No, I guess. I'm not sure what counts as explicitly the intro. Um, save and slot A, which I reserve for the run officially. Yeah, so if you don't know what this game is, this is a Pokemon game made by fans, not by Nintendo, where you fuse Pokemon together to make crazy new fusion Pokemon. Uh, it's pretty popular. It's pretty well done for the most part. It's a little janky because it's like RPG Maker or something like that. Some like, you know, some, some, some game thing to help you make games easier right without having to code it from scratch completely which results in a little bit of jank um it's not too bad from what i've seen and yeah so uh, our encounter rules are going to be as i mentioned nine bonus encounters we're going to use um any any gift pokemon still count as an encounter for their area as it's listed on the name cards uh, for eggs, we'll use the egg location as the encounter location, not where it's hatched. Um, yeah, that should be about it. Um, we're going to do fusions before each gym and before the Elite Four. Uh, we have to use fused Pokemon. Uh, up, we have to use fused Pokemon starting with the first gym fight. So until we get to the first gym, we'll just be using whatever we get our hands on. Uh, and let's see here. Speed, more speed, great. Let's get the option set up. Uh, fast, this should be actually all set up still. Battle type, oh, interesting. We're gonna do a 1v1 here for the first run. Walking works a little bit better with the speed stuff. Screen size XL. Quick surf, yeah, I don't know what quick surf is. Okay, that all looks right to me. Withdraw the customary potion. Okay, we are officially in the Pokemon League. Great. Uh, what is our rival's name? I don't have a good idea of what the rival's name should be. <laughs> Wait, no, I know what our rival should be. It's Nintendo. There we go. Oh no, Nintendo's gonna get us. Alright.
Uh, go up and, and do this shit. Oh yeah, also, we're gonna cheat and use rare candies, by the way. Might as well get that band-aid ripped off right away. Uh, yes, we want Charmander, absolutely. Charmander is my favorite of the Gen 1 starters, and um, I think it's a good good um, starter here on Modern Mode. So I don't, I'm not gonna look at like teams. I don't think. I'm not gonna refer to walkthroughs at least. Um, I have a little graphic I downloaded, which is like levels. There's supposed to be level cap enforcement, but it doesn't appear strict enough for what I want to do for level caps. Um, okay, so there should be different levels for normal and hard mode, which I didn't see in testing because my test save should have been hard mode and Brock was only level 12. Um, so we might have to see if that's working. Maybe hard mode's not a thing in classic? Hmm. I would like to verify the difficulty of mode I'm in. Uh, can debug tell me this? All right, well, let's not deal with that. Uh, while we're in debug, we just do add items. We're looking for rare candy. So this is just an option you can enable in the game files. Um, and then that allows you to just add items willy nilly. We're only gonna do rare candies. And what I'm going to do kind of is a balance for adding the rare candies. Um, and I usually like to do this anyway in Nuzlocke. We're going to fight every trainer we see, um, just as a rule. So that's going to remove the... the that's going to remove the... the uh, that's going to basically make up for the, the risk that's removed by not having to grind, right? You're most likely to lose a Pokemon to a trainer. And you fight the trainers because you don't want to have to grind on low-level Pokemon. So on and so forth. Um, so this should... You know... Keep the possibility of dying up a bit. Um... Hey, we win! Good start! Good show, Charmander. I lost in the uh, test save, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, Charmander, nature gentle, plus the death, minus defense, whatever. We'll find something um, to fuse him with that maybe gets him a little bit more beneficial nature. We'll see what we get, I guess. No reason to plan ahead too much here. Can I get a town map? Yes, we can. Okay, uh, Route 1, but we don't have balls. Okay, well, modern mode is working. That's good to know. Fenril, yeah. I'm gonna adjust the music a little bit more. Might have to boost it in the recording, um, but we'll see after the first episode how I feel about that. fight these actually because we should probably try to manage our xp because we don't know uh for sure if the hard mode settings right oh you know what maybe we can check the save data why am i killing you 
Uh, there's a lot of people to talk to that give you stuff in this game, so I'm probably going to go ahead and talk to everybody. Yeah, let's not mess with any of that shit. Also, let's do uh, not capture the mouse cursor. That way I can leave it hanging over the screen and you guys don't have to deal with that horrible shit that I just did. All right. It looks to me like this game has a day-night system that's like dynamic. It's not tied to real time. Which is cool. I like that. There's hotels and quests and stuff in this game too, which is really neat. Um, I don't think there was anything to get in there from what I can remember. Okay. Uh, oh, and we got the, the, the drunk man. I'm pretty sure this is from the Japanese version of Red and Blue. That the man is drunk. Whereas in like the localized US version, he just like, I need my coffee. Because uh, there's no way we could deal with uh, a drunkard. Okay, before we go too much further, I'm going to save the data. I'm going to try and verify that we're in hard mode properly. You know what? <clears throat> I think I'm worried about this too much for no reason. Uh, it's probably fine. So in my, oh yeah, we were actually going back this way to turn in the thing. In my other run, I probably just didn't notice the boosted level on Brock. That's what I'm going to assume it was. Because I'm pretty sure I, I looked up Brock's uh, level, and then I raised my team to that level, went in and did the fight, and swept it with no problem. Um, and I never actually verified that he was at level 12 and not 14 in that test save. Plus the starter was at 6 uh, when we fought it here. Which probably means we are, hard mode is working correctly, and I'm just gaslit myself into thinking it wasn't, so... Okay, Route 1 encounter! Fletchling, double fire type. Um, good for the first gym, I guess. You little shit. Oh, right. It's not fire. Oh, fuck. I al almost threw. Uh, it's not fire till it evolves, right? It was dead to crit, but uh, we're good. If I killed it, I would have just <laughs> fucking reset the whole run. <laughs> uh, we're just going to use whatever the default sprite is. I'm not going to bother too much. Messing around. Brave, plus attack, minus speed. <clears throat> Could be good. I don't know what Fletchling stat spread looks like per se, but... Alright, we're just going to boost you up to like... I don't know. Seven or something here. Enough that you can survive uh, some fights. went and killed that poor little bird. Uh, we should probably get some more balls here before we move on. Wait. Oh, Pukumuku. Okay. Yeah, that guy wasn't there before. Modest? Okay. <laughs> Caught location is Pokemart. Doesn't even count as the Viridian encounter. Alright. Uh, I think we get a guaranteed Pineco, and I might just fuse it with that. Just 
stick both the defensive things together and call it good. Um, ooh, we got through here without getting an encounter. In um, regular mode, if you manage to get through the woods into the upper part of the route, you get a chance at Polywag as your encounter. Um, so, when I clicked on a trash can, I got a Trubbish in the test save. Ninkata. Uh, we're not going to use Shedinja. I'm going to tell you that now. Might have been dead to crit there. Oops. Bug gem, cool. I didn't know you could get those from there. Seems good to have. We'll check the trash cans later. Because uh, it was level 10, so I don't really want to get it right now. So this is our encounter. Uh, crit kills it. Good uh, spread of mons I'm feeling here. Bidoof and Fletchling both feel really nice. Okay, so Ninkata was hasty. Minus defense plus speed, compound eyes, but it evolved. Oh, uh, does this get speed boost when it evolves? That might be really good. Simple. From the wild stat changes. This, um, like doubles the effectiveness of stat changes or something, right? I think that's how this works. So this is kind of not the best for us because we're not using setup moves. I'm feeling good about the, uh, the squad so far, though. Okay, there's a few trainers to fight over here, and then, um, some other th whoa, is this area faster? I don't know, weird, something felt weird going through that, I don't know what it was. <laughs> Letty Ling. Okay, poison does kill us. Um, oh yeah, uh, uh, I forgot you do want to talk to people after battles in this. Okay, how do we? How much we got? Eleven. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, maybe. Uh, do we have antidotes? No. One Petcha, one antidote. Okay. Well, I mean, that's 
we get a lot of Petra Berries from what I saw in the test save, so let's just keep going. Oh, we should talk to that lady back on Route 1 and see if she's got uh, something for us. It's going to take me a little while to remember to talk to people. Also, Nidoran Mail. Ooh, that's got stick. Nidoran Mail might be accessible here somewhere. Um... Impish, Levitate. He is normal type. Oh, of course, he's always going to be normal type if it's worth happening. What am I doing? Berries respawn. Okay, uh, Nidoran Mail. Let me look up if there's anywhere we can get him. Okay, next up is the rival fight, so let's get uh, everybody candied up to maybe 10? Not sure what level we're... Uh, gonna need here. Okay, Harden is literally a banned move for us, so that's an easy decision. Roll out Bidoof. Could be good. Pack on Fletchling. All right, let's go with a Charmander lead here, maybe. Oh, we could have put Oran Berries on. Shit. I'm not used to having Oran Berries this early. Okay, a Shinx lead. Nice burn. Leers us. That's fine. Oh, he's got Eevee. Wait, does he not? Keep his starter? Level 9 Eevee. He can't do anything here. Okay, we're just gonna switch around to, uh, to reset shit. Okay, well that was super easy. We beat Nintendo. Okay, yeah, nothing to do over here. All right, I'm gonna. Oh, that is a sick ass Slugma sprite. Holy shit! I'm gonna check that fight and make sure that's what we expected. Okay, everything's good. The EV was nine. It would be eight if it wasn't hard mode. So that's our verification that it's working. Um, 
let's go do Ver through Viridian Forest. There is, so I'm going to state this now. There is an additional encounter, a new area that unlocks after beating the rival fight. We're not going to get it yet because uh, I found in the test save that there was also an egg there and I would like the egg. So we're going to try and go to get a repel before we go into that area. That's the plan here. Apparently, you can multi-click these webs. No, I don't... I'm not hyped for Chaos Theory because it's going to be a baby show for babies again. I, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Shroom do! Also, again, uh, let's not... Fuck up the cap here. Uh, you should probably have Peck in the first slot. Fan Ursa. Feeling. Do you guys have feelings? <laughs> feelings. I found that on the test save. Ooh, Joltik, that would have been sick. Ah, bad. The encounter rate is uh, a little high here, huh? Guess we could just peck our way through this shit. Might be quicker. Ooh, a Larvestra. Ooh, there's some sick fucking encounters in modern mode. Holy shit. Yeah, there's all the Petra Berries I figured we'd be getting, so now we can deal with poison pretty easily. In fact, I'm gonna let's run back to the Pokemon Center and then let's patch a berry basically everybody. We'll do that paused. Alright, let's keep going now. Gotta remember to talk to all these guys. Chickots? Wow. Nice job, Duskull, just landing those hits. Uh this is gonna be normal type, right? infestation are we trapped oh shit infestation uh assuming that's coming from the spinner rack of course that's a that's a nice little bonus for spinner rack who is generally a pretty forgettable pokemon Oh, I guess we agreed to a rematch. Whoops. You can literally Google these things yourself, Cryo. Hey, he does have poison powder. We're, uh, pretty vulnerable to rock moves there, guys. Um... God for disable, holy shit. Hmm. 
Okay, uh, pay attention to people when we talk to them again. Um... Wait, he's still got a Petra Berry. So I saw this in my other save, and I assumed it was a thing with, like, gym fights that made him come back, but... Apparently not. Apparently you just get berries back. And the mushrooms are gone now. Weird. Okay, a uh, free Petra Berry. Not huge, but not bad. Probably not worth the effort of coming back all the way, but... Trumadu. Boomish. <laughs> ah, what a fun game. Oh yeah, we will be doing a shiny clause as well if uh, the opportunity ever presents itself. Munchlax Paras? Let's just try and use some other things. I have no idea what you're talking about, Cryo. Shit. Haha, <laughs> die, idiot. So that just dies. I didn't watch it, so I have no opinion. All right, Fletchling is doing uh, good work on the team here. Oh yeah, so we gotta talk to him. Trading, no. I'm not gonna do any trades. Just like as a rule. We're also not going to catch fused Pokemon as a rule. Uh, we only fuse our own. Oh, I should not be uh, tackling a Paras. We'll get effects board. It's not worth it. That's an interesting thing down there. I don't know what that is. I'll have to see when we get cut. I think it's an egg. Because there's an egg in the secret garden. Yeah, that's definitely a Pokemon egg. So... I know the egg in the secret garden is rock rough because I used it. This is making me wonder if, um, what is this? A Joltrat? This is normal type. Uh, uh, maybe it doesn't have electric moves. It's probably fine. Uh, if, if we end up running into a lot of like eggs we might do a gift encounter clause maybe we should just do a gift encounter thing we're gonna have relatively few encounters anyway uh, let's not check that trash can yet let's go back to town and heal you can go see sue it's in chicago i've seen it
Okay, so this can now doesn't have something. When I clicked on it before, there was a Trubbish. So I wonder if it just resets, or if it's like set based on your RNG, whether it's any can's gonna have something in it or not. Arrgh, okay. Okay, he wants us to get flowers. I don't remember uh, if anybody in these buildings had anything for us, despite the fact that I literally did the test save today, I've already forgotten. And then upstairs, this is... Move reminder, then there's like the trade person. And then this guy is the other guy, is the same as that other guy with um, different settings. We're not gonna mess with that. This mart sells, yeah, nest balls. Let's, uh, let's leave them for now, maybe. No, we should definitely buy. A few. I was just wondering if we buy 10 if we get a Premier Ball or not. We're not gonna go to Route 3. Uh, apparently we can. I'm gonna save it for afterwards though because there's like a hidden ability event that happens after Brock. So I'd like to try to take advantage of that if we can. Okay, we don't have the mushrooms yet. This guy wants a fully evolved bug type. Uh, we don't have that until Minkata evolves. So that's the Pineco. We might not have access to the Pineco for a little bit, but we can always come back later when we do get a fully evolved one. I don't think we have any reason to go to the museum. Uh, where is... I thought it was here. Maybe it's a random bench that the revive spawns at. Must be. Okay, uh, well, I'm going to pause, try to find the revive, make my way back through Viridian Forest, and then we'll go get the secret garden counter. Um, wait, did I not get a repel? I thought I had a repel from somewhere. Shit, don't have a repel. Yeah, we can't buy repels. I might... We might do a gift clause. I think we will. I think we'll I think gift Pokemon will allow one bonus encounter per area for gifts. Just one per area. Because otherwise we're not gonna be able to use these eggs that are I assume special Pokemon. So yeah, we'll do that. Alright, so I'm gonna make it on my way back through Fruitian Forest. Okay, uh, we've made it through. We got our pink flower for the quest, and we get to go to Secret Garden. So yeah, there's the Pokemon egg. That's the Rock Ruff. And yeah, we would have to like theoretically hatch it. We're just gonna grab an encounter here too. Fuck it. I think it's fine. Uh, a non-fused encounter. Okay, a Riolu. That's really fucking good. Get in this premiere ball. Yeah, 
Yeah, I have no status moves. Try Nest Ball. Okay. <clears throat> Serious nature, neutral, steadfast. And then this egg doesn't seem close to hatching, but it will hatch at some point. Uh, we're going to want to hatch the egg before we do the um, the gym so that we can do our set of fusions. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all of the fusions for basically every Pokemon we have, unless we have an odd man out as a bonus. And then it's going to be... Um, if there's, if there's one left over, that's just going to roll over to the next set of fusions and we'll get to pick which one to hold on to. I think that's fun. I want a little bit of strategy to how we do the fusion, so I don't just want them to be, uh, like, fuse with the next mon you get type thing. I want a little bit of choice. Faint is uh, pretty bad. I guess we'll just not have it. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that either. You have to hit confirm here to get through the stats and then hit cancel to cancel out, which is a little awkward. Uh, it's fine though. Okay. Uh, anything else to do? We got the that. We got the little mushrooms. Yeah, we're good here. Okay. Uh, yeah, we got the trash can encounter. Um, I, I've been checking them as I ran back through Viridian Forest and we finally got it. So... Um, this won't kill you. Oh, fuck, that might. Uh, nest ball it. Just go for it. Okay. So this is our ninth encounter. Which means we're gonna have one flex encounter left over. I wonder if there's any other, like, secret locations, or if there's anything else you can get from trash cans. Hmm. Okay, one more thing we can do here. Uh, oh yeah, there is something useful in the museum. It's Mud Slap, which we'll probably ha want to have for the gym here. Let's beat the trainers, and then I'm going to sort out off video which fusions I'm going to do, and then we'll do all the fusions at once. I'm just going to... Ooh, Jesus. Okay, uh, that was some real shit. Oh my god. I don't want to see a- Oh, you know what? I remember hearing that there's like a guaranteed Hone Edge. Or Gift Hone Edge or something in this game. I think it's in Rock Tunnel. I need to figure that out. Yeah, that's not going to survive. All right, well, there's the trainers down. Time to sort out the fusions. Okay, I uh, forgot to turn in the quest, too, so let's do that. Oranberry plants the flowers. The bird changes types. That's another new Pokemon in this version, or Corio. Uh, next stage of the quest, go to Mount Moon. Great for the hotel quest. Pop in here real quick. Oh, is this the repel? Nope, bomb mushroom. Frustration. Yeah, I don't know where I got a repel before. Oh well, it's a mystery. Hey, Flash, okay. Kind of a weird way to get an HM having to engage with the, uh, the quest system, but I intend to do all the quests because I want to fully experience the game, so. I'm okay with that. All right, I still have not figured out all the fusions because I'm hatching the egg first. Ah, the egg! Okay, it is a rock rough again, so I guess that egg in the Seer Garden is always a rock rough. Um, cool. Another dog for the dog squad. Uh, sassy nature, minus speed plus spadef, keen eye. Uh, 
So, I've got the fusions partially planned out. Bite is nice to have here. Early bite is always good to see. That is literally banned. No stat move it, stat boosting moves. All right. So yeah, that's the uh, the group. So we're definitely got a few of these figured out. Uh, we're gonna do Pukumuku with uh, Duskull, and we're gonna do Charmander and Riolu, Trubbish and Ninkata. So it's just a matter of what the last three, which of the like, two of the last three get fused together. All right, let's do some fusions to end the episode. We'll fight Brock next time because we're running long here. Um, so we want to do Charmander with Riolu. So uh, I should have probably looked first at which one I need to do. Um, okay, Charmander with Riolu. Because we need the one that becomes steel, I think. We're looking for the one that looks like an actual... Yeah, I think we want this one with the unique sprite. Uh, let's make sure that's the steel one, though. Yeah, so that becomes the steel one. 415. The other one is a lot more special attack, but I think the steel is just better. Okay, I gotta mute that fucking tab. Um, okay, tab muted. Yeah, I think we'll just go for this one. He's a cute little fire dog. Uh, we probably should have ground the uh, happiness on this before uh, the upcoming fight, but that's fine. Blaze or Steadfast? Steadfast feels really niche, so let's keep Blaze, I guess. Oh, um, neutral or plus bidef minus defense. I think we'll stick with neutral. My movesets. Uh, Ember. Growl's got a little bit of utility. We'll keep it here. Scratch. Quick attack's better. Smokescreen. I think we'll take Smokescreen over Growl as the utility slot there. Okay, how are we looking? 26 attack, 21 special attack, 16, 19, 25. I mean, that seems decent. Alright, uh, Pukumuku with... Oops. Duskull. All right, now I gotta figure these guys out precisely. Yuku, Muku, and Duskull. So we want. So this will be levitate always. We're not gonna take innards out. So the, uh, the difference here in stats is um, kind of weird. Like there's 12 higher if we go with the, the one side, but it's half of that's in speed. Let's look at Dusclops. So if we go up to Dusclops. Okay, yeah, by the time we hit Dusclops, it's actually not even that good the difference and the the stats are like the same for defenses then dusk noir yeah this is like a complete wash kind of as to which we refuse these Okay, I think we want this this one. The uh so I'm using the fusion calculator that like the game links in the launcher. 
Um, but it's really hard to tell if I'm looking at even the right stuff. I think this is wrong. Ah, fuck it. We'll keep it. I don't care. Huku Skull. Levitate. Um, we keep Impish. Bide. No, thank you. Taunt. Could be good. Mud Sport. Really niche. Safeguard? Sure. So yeah, I like this guy as like a, a wall and a... Um, like a stall Pokemon. I think having 3740 on defenses. I think having a Nightshade on this is going to be really good. Just a great way to chip shit down with awful attack stats. Which honestly, its attack stats aren't even that bad when it's unevolved. Okay, uh, next is uh, our fire water type. Yeah, so this should be like Talon Flame Head. Um, Yeah, again, these, these sprites don't look anything like what I'm seeing in the preview. We want flying normal. Because this will become the water fire one. I suppose that's a fletchling head, right? <laughs> Okay, yeah, we could see the other the other sprite example there to verify. Uh, big pecs or simple? Right. So does this? Right, right. We lose out on unaware. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, protect from defense lowering or wild stat changes. Simple, I think, is just bad for us, right? Because we're not using setup moves. So I think we want big pecs. Uh, plus attack, minus speed. Or neutral. Uh, these are both physical centric mons, right? Yeah, Bibarel. I'm pretty sure Talonflame is too. Yeah, Talonflame less so than Bibarel, but it is ultimately that. Yeah, let's do that. Plus attack, minus speed. Flying and normal. Headbutt, pack. Tackle can go. Quick attack over rollout, I think. All right, and let's get our last few out of here. Uh, Crobat at home. with speed boost. So let's make sure uh, I get this one set up correctly. We've already fucked up one fusion. So um, Ninkata with, let's just fill in with a generic poison type because we don't have the the right one here in the, in the setting. So if we go Ninjask, for poison flying, yeah. Then Ninkata. We want ground poison here. Certainly is a little dude. Trubkata. Okay. Uh, oh, shoot. Which ability... No, Compound Eyes becomes... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we can even use the Compound Eyes here for a little bit. Plus Special Attack, minus Defense, plus Speed, minus Defense. I guess we go Hasty. Speed Boost Hasty. Fast as fuck. Die because we have no defense. 
But we're not going to be a special attacker, so like... Acid spray, yeah. Recycle is an interesting one. There's maybe some exploiting that could be done here with this. Are we ever going to click absorb? I don't think so. Oh, toxic spikes, though. is pretty sick. Alright. Well, that's our squad, I guess. So, that's the group that... Why are you 15? Maybe a weird thing with XP. Okay, lesson learned. Don't candy the Pokemon until after the fusions are done, I guess. This shit gets weird. Alright, until next time.